वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स देखिए इन फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल स्पेक्ट्रल थियोरी वी आर गोइंग टू शो दिस रिजल्ट व्हाट इज दिस रिजल्ट दिस रिजल्ट इज प्रूव दैट आइगन स्पेस इज इन वेरियंट अंडर टी एंड एम इज अ नॉन जीरो क्लोज लीनियर सब स्पेस ऑफ एच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इसका मतलब समझते हैं व्हाट इज नॉन जीरो हेयर नॉन जीरो मीन्स एज इन डेफिनेशन the vector x which belongs to h should be non zero okay yahan pe kya hai ki agar eigen space kya kaha ja raha hai eigen space agar aapke under hai aapke paas hai that means there is some scalar also agar wo scalar aapke paas hai uske corresponding mein koi na koi aapke paas eigen space aaya hi aaya hoga and agar aapke paas eigen space aa chuka hai ek scalar aa chuka hai that means wahan koi na koi ek non zero eigen vector bhi raha hoga that means here m is always non zero by default by definition and m is non zero also because if you have any eigen space that means the vector belonging to eigen space must be non zero by definition of eigen space all right so this means m is non zero and you need to show ki m is invariant under t and m is closed linear subspace of what hilbert space h all right m is invariant under t firstly we will show m is closed linear subspace of hilbert space h okay let x comma y belongs to m if x comma y belongs to m what does this imply this imply t of x equals to lambda time x and t of y equals to lambda time y डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज की हेयर इज लैमडा एंड हेयर इज ऑल्सो लैमडा लैमडा के कोरेस्पॉन्डिंग एक ही आइगन स्पेस मिलेगा तो ऐसे जितने भी वैक्टर आपको मिलते जाएंगे वो सारे आप एम के अंदर भेजोगे दैट्स वाई हेयर लैमडा इज कॉमन ओके दिज आइगन वैक्टर्स आर डिफरेंट बट लैमडा इज कॉमन नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शो दैट एम इज क्लोज लीनियर सब स्पेस ऑफ एच वट वी नीड टू शो वी नीड टू शो ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई बिलोंग्स टू एच बिलोंग्स टू एम वेयर ए एंड बी आर द स्केलर ऑल राइट नाउ दिस इज टू शो पार्ट now if we apply operator t on ax plus by what will i get since t is a linear operator linear operator means we can separate it on ax and on by since t is a linear operator that's why constant bahar aa jayega and we will get this all right now what is the value of tx value of tx is this a into lambda times x plus value of ty is lambda times y b into lambda times y you can uh uh, uh all right so lambda is common so ax plus by since so see if you apply operator t on this you will uh, you are getting this what does this mean this means ax plus by belongs to eigen space m ax plus by belongs to eigen space m this imply ax plus by belongs to eigen space m theek hai after this what does this imply this imply m is a linear subspace of hilbert space h Hilbert space H. Now we need to show closed that M is closed, since by definition of eigen space, what we have, we have those x from x such that t of x equals to lambda times x. All right. I can write this as. X belongs to H such that t of x minus lambda of identity of x, है ना? I can write this as this imply x belongs to H such that 
t minus lambda times i into x equals to 0. What is this? This is null space of t minus lambda i. What is m? m is null space of t minus lambda i. And as we know, null space of any space is always closed linear subspace. Null space is always closed linear subspace. What does this imply? This imply M is closed linear subspace. All right. This imply M is closed linear subspace. Now we need to show M is invariant under T to show m is invariant under t. How will we show? We show that t of m is contained in m. t of m is contained in m. Let uh, x belongs to m. If x belongs to m, here m is eigenspace. All right. If x belongs to m, then there must exist some scalar lambda. This imply by definition of eigenspace, we must have this. Anna? We must have this since M is a linear subspace of Hilbert space H. If M is linear subspace of Hilbert space H, then M is closed under multiplication. If M is closed under multiplication, this means this will belong to M. M closed linear subspace of Hilbert space H. Ka. So M closed hoga kiske under multiplication. Ke under. If M is closed under multiplication, then this must belong to M. This imply T of X belongs to M. This imply T of M is contained in M. This imply M is invariant under T. Alright.